I'm never going to go to lunch at school again. I made that mistake once. I'm not going to make it again. Most people, for most people, going to lunch at school isn't a very big deal. You know, it's where you are already and you just kind of go in and get your food, hang out with your buds, have a break from classes, get to see everyone around, get to hang out. You know, usually it's pretty nice even, but not for me. I'll go into why now. It was an event that happened to me. It was unforgettable. It was like spring of my sophomore year in high school. And, you know, I thought, okay, today sucks. I was already in a bad mood that morning. I was like, today sucks. I slept like shit. It was like, oh no, another day of school. It was a Monday. It was like, oh, another day of school. This sucks. That was me. I was like, this sucks, cunt. That's what I said. I said it. And so I hopped in the car and got a ride. I, I couldn't drive at the time. I didn't have my license. So I got a ride from my mom. And on the drive over, I was like, today sucks. I said, today is shot. It's too far gone. It can't go good. I can tell. She was like, oh, you know, how do you know that? And I said, I just know. So, so that was the car ride over. And then I got to school and it was kind of shitty, but it wasn't nothing interesting happened. I got through my first three classes just fine. I thought, oh, maybe today isn't a shot. Maybe it will be decent. Maybe it will be a good day. But, you know, lunch comes around. The infamous lunch. The lunch that ruined all other lunches. And it rolled around, and I go to my normal spot in the cafeteria, you know, like you do. And it was like, okay, you know, it's fine. I'm going to grab my food, you know, nothing irregular. And I should say this. I was not a social guy. I would go in to the cafeteria, and I would sit by myself, and I would go, huh, you know, I'm, I would be like, I am a Sigma male. I'd be like, I am. I sit by myself. Somebody would ask me, hey, can I sit next to you? I'd say, I sit next to myself because I'm enough. I would tell them that. And they'd go, oh, okay, they'd get the idea. You know, they'd back off. So I was there sitting eating my potatoes, you know, that's what I got for lunch. It was fine. And then, you know, a, a girl in my grade named Jessica comes up. She's like, oh, I see you're sitting alone again. I've, you know, I've noticed you sit alone a lot. And I go, yeah, it's a choice. I want to be alone. Like, leave me alone. She's like, uh, okay, geez. Uh, then she walked away. And then another, another girl came up. She said, her name was Mary. She said, oh, I see you're alone. Uh, do you want some company? Like, do you want somebody to sit next to? I said, no, leave me alone. Jesus. You know, like, what the fuck's going on here? You know? And then another girl came up named Jasmine. And she comes up and she's like, oh, I really like your hair. I'm like, okay. And I'm like, can I be alone now? She's like, okay. She's like, <clears throat> that kind of goes on. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this shit happening? What is going on? So I finished my potatoes. And I get up to go to my class. And the three of them... Uh, the three girls, uh, they stopped me and they say, dude, they didn't even plan it. They just stopped me in the hallway and they said, they like all had the same idea. They were like, we need to talk. I said, talk about what? And they said, you can't sit by yourself. It's no good. I said, geez, this is becoming a horrible lunch. I said, I just want to sit next to myself. I am a Sigma. I am a lone wolf. And this is a true story, by the way. You know, they look at me and they go, we are going to sit next to you at lunch. I just walked away after they said that it was too much to take it's not like they were ugly either they were hot but that doesn't change anything i don't want to deal with any hassles i am fine alone at lunch i walked so i walked away and then later that day it became a big deal again and then i like i just left the school and walked around and then the next the next day when i went to school a similar type of thing happened you know oh, we're gonna sit next to you and i had to leave again and it's gone it, and that continued and continued so now i'm in my senior year i just can't go to lunch can't go to lunch because people don't respect personal time they don't respect it so that's basically the story it's completely true you know and it's quite frankly it's unfair it's unfair that people don't have respect they don't let you alone so thanks for listening have a good one